Hey guys, and um, welcome to my... Uh, we know I don't know what day it is. <laughs> so I'm basically doing the haul of all the stuff I bought while I was in the States because I bought so much makeup, it's actually worrying. <laughs> first things first, I bought this, which is full of the makeup I'm going to show you. It matches a different one I have, a smaller one, which just has my lipsticks in it, so I wanted a bigger makeup bag. Well, I needed a bigger makeup bag. <laughs> I'll start with the face stuff. This is a Soap and Glory cleanser which I bought when I was back in the UK because I use those products in the US. I like this because it's really it's really soft and it makes my skin feel really nice. It smells of uh, peaches actually. And I really like the smell of peaches. It doesn't like dry your skin out either, which some of my other ones like cleansers do, so I like this one. More creamy stuff. I got I always buy my little oxytan hand creams, but then like, there's one on my desk there. I always use those up and I just I need a big one heavy duty, soft handness, and this is just, it smells really nice as well, it kind of smells like baby powder, I don't know, I really like this too, this is like the holy grail of hand creams. Or Soap and Glory, this is something I again bought recently, it's like it's just a moisturiser because I finished my clean eat which made me want to cry, but this is, it's, again it smells like apricot and it just, it goes in quite quickly, so it doesn't leave, like I wake up sometimes with my other one and it, my face feels sticky, but this doesn't, so in and it's soft face. Also, you gotta moisturise because you know if you get those little bumps under your skin, that's because you don't moisturise. So, gotta stay hydrated. More skin. I went and got a face mask. It's Origin, and my friend recommended it to me. And I really like this one. It doesn't dry your skin out too much once you've used it. Like the spots on my face are going. Like my aim in life is perfectly killer skin, which is why I all like care about is like face products. But it does help. I kind of I like this one. Other face masks, not so much, I've noticed, but this one does make more spot stuff. This smells absolutely disgusting. It makes me want to vomit every time I put it on my face. I wouldn't use it, but it's really good. This really reduces, like, if they're red, this really reduces that. I don't even know if you can get this in the UK, because I know Burt's Bees have done lip stuff in the UK, but I don't know if they do anything else. This is, like, reduced inhalation, reduced redness really well. Like, I've had spot, like, stuff before, but this is the one I noticed does things. This is good, even though it smells horrific. It's very good. I got perfume. This is the first time I've ever bought myself perfume. I I usually am given it for like my birthday or for Christmas. I, I never buy it. So I decided if I was buying it, I was gonna do it properly. And this, I actually love this. I'm smelling it because I love it so much. This is just a random little thing that I'm gonna throw in. Loads of people have, you know, this gold foil tattoos people all seem to have on Instagram and Tumblr all over the place. I found some, so I'm going to wear these in Greece. That's where I'm going. Three days. I'm not kidding. I do live out of suitcases. So much. But yeah, I'm going to go full Tumblr with these. Nail varnish now. I bought these two Essie ones, which is the first Essie nail varnish I've actually bought. And I don't like them is a matte one. Usually if I pay my nails, I'll do a normal coat of whatever I want and then just put a matte coat on top. This turns it matte, which if you're not doing your nails quickly makes it really difficult and leaves marks everywhere. It's kind of against the clock. And so if you're not gonna do your nails, I wouldn't recommend this one. This for me is the like the holy grail of nail polishes. I've seen this all over Pinterest for such a long time and I was like, screw it, I need it. It's $28. <laughs> um and I bought it and I was like, I hate myself, but I love myself, but I hate myself, but I love myself. So I'm wearing it now. Even with one coat, it's... The brush literally, it's per... This is my favourite, and also, does that, so you have that, I just... It's... I just love it so much, in like, every way. I really, really like this. Moving off from nails, I've got a couple, like, bits and bobs. I've got the Urban Decay, like, the eyeshadow primer. Um, I didn't realise that it's, like, tinted. So I, I would always go and like put it all over my eye and then there'd be bits where I wouldn't actually put eyeshadow but then I'd still have it on my eye. I mean you can see it, you don't get the whole, it doesn't go into the crease and it doesn't like... And it's good because a lot of the ones I've got on my naked too are like glittery. So it's just good. Yes, useful. I also got this which is NARS and it's so good. So it's a high oops it is it's a highlighter and it's called Altos because names. Um and it's absolutely when you put it on, I put it on my hand when I was testing it and it just looked so gorgeous. And 
and every time I put it on, I can't help but just stare at my face in the mirror of it going, ah, as it catches the light, because it just, like, contouring, like, doing cheekbone stuff is quite scary. So I always feel like highlighter is all, like, safe, but it just makes you look so gorgeous, and it's healthy, like, glowing. It's just so gorgeous, honestly. <laughs> now, lip stuff. Um, lip stuff is, like, my kryptonite. These are just the lip balms, like, oopsie daisy, <laughs> the lip balms I bought. There's lipsticks as well. <laughs> it's bad. I have a Burt's Bees thing is, I had the pomegranate one, so that made my lips tingle, so I was like a bit hmm about buying another one. So I bought vanilla and it's, it smells really vanilla and it just, it kind of melts on your lips and I really like that. And yes, this is quite good. I just, things I keep, if it tastes good, I keep going and licking my lips, which is kind of counterproductive because if you lick your lips, you'd like draw out moisture, which isn't great, but baby lips. I in fact have most of the ones you can get in the UK and there's ones you can get in the US and you can't get in the UK and this was one of them. This was like the one with the pieces of stamp. Grape vine. And it smells, it smells, you know the way artificial grapes do. I like this one and it just, it gives you that little bit of, it's quite deep so I, I like this one. This is something I, I saw on a blog post and this was just a lip thing. It's lip, it's lip. It's a lip protectant slash scun, scun, scun screen, <laughs> sunscreen for your lips and seeing as it was summer and I was having like 32 degrees and out in the sun. Gotta stay protected. Yes. And last of the lip balms, I bought this, which is, I, I got it this pink. And it's coconut milk, so it smells delicious, even though I absolutely hate coconut milk more than anything. This is really good and it's pretty. It just like, lives on my desk now because it just looks gorgeous and just works with like decoration. So I really like this one. I really like all of them. <laughs> this is what happiness looks like to me. <laughs> okay, I bought a lot of these. First one I got uh, was NARS, uh, which is a pretty colour. I like it. It doesn't go on that thickly. It's a little bit more opaque. Wait, sheer is fashion flap flap. Fashion flap. <laughs> well done, Emma. <laughs> um, more of a beauty term, but this one's called Damage. I'd love to be someone who names makeup. There's this post someone on the internet which is a, just a nail varnish and it's fuchsia and it's called Back to the Fuchsia. Which I think is really funny. So, <laughs> Emma Career Prospect! Next one I bought is this and it looks absolutely beautiful because it is absolutely beautiful. And the colour is just even more. Ugh, oh, pink. Um, this is called Vogue. Which makes me even happier. There's a shelf of Vogue, sir. I hold this and I'm like, I feel fabulous. And I could kick ass and parade around in heels and pink lipstick and be like, makes the boys cry and stuff, which is. Lipstick makes me feel powerful, basically. That's the summary of it. Lipstick makes me feel really powerful. Like, no one can mess with me because I'll hurt you. Because I'm, yes. Next, I got. Oh, the moment I put on, it became my favourite lipstick that I've ever had, and also, it's magnetic. I realised I've been this for a good five minutes. <laughs> this is Marc Jacobs and it is Boy Gorgeous. It's, oh, it's such a pretty colour. It slides on so perfectly and really like quite thick and creamy and it's just, just the way I like my lipstick. these. If I'm broke, this is this is going to be why. I got a melted lipstick because I've been seeing these all over and I just wanted one. They're not normal lipsticks as you can imagine and they just go on like this with the applicator and you can actually get it right where you want it. I didn't think I'd like this as much as I did. Even though it's long wear lipstick, it comes off quite easily. So I just be wary of face touching and stuff. I'm a fan of this actually. I think I'll probably buy a few more. Maybe called pink or something, but I like this. Next up, I've got MAC. It's now my fourth. Oh, I was so happy. And then I bought it and realised I had a L'Oreal lipstick. It was like half the price, almost exactly the same. This one's a bit more orangey. And um, it's sparkly on the inside and it's called Sandy B. And I think this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous. It's just a, it's just 
so pretty on my lips. It doesn't pick up on camera because I wore it in a video and realised I didn't even see it, but it perfect. It's just so pretty. And lastly, this is something I bought when I was back here, but I bought it with all my boots advantage, like card points, because I'd managed to save up two and a half thousand. Which does that surprise you? <laughs> um, but I bought the Chanel lipstick. This is called Bohemi. Bohemi. I can't say the words. This is why I need my Zoe. I like this. It's quite sheer when you put it on. And I'm wearing it now. And you do need to go over it a few times if you want to get like much colour. But it's quite nice as something subtle. It's quite, it doesn't feel like heavy on your lips. And you can't, when you speak, you don't really feel it. Which are some lipsticks you can get. It's my little treat to myself. And I really do. I like to I treat myself too much. I need to stop. So yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed being nosy into what I bought. I like subscribe to Jazz and I will see you in Greece because I'm off in like a couple of days. Bye! Someone's just flashed a loo, thank you, in the middle of my video. Can't film a video with the house of people, it's a nightmare. Even though you're not supposed to eat wish uh lit what ah words. Want to haul video? I Oh no <laughs> so smooth. I got a melted fan thank you, hair and face. Focus. Um I the focus of attention because that's exactly what I like to be all the time. Loki huge attention haul. Well, not Loki huge attention haul. I'm a fucking YouTube channel dedicated to me. <laughs> I need help. <laughs>